Hey. Good morning, everybody. Oops. Trying to get my forehead in there. Good morning. We're on day 11 of our 21 days of prayer. I was a couple minutes late. I had a, a kid wake up a little extra early. So had to get him settled, but we're here. And we're on day 11 of our 21 days of prayer. Um, you know, last week when I did this, um, I asked the question if you're a morning person or not. And I mentioned what time I get up, you know, half the time I get up really early. And so I feel like it caused a little bit of um, controversy there. <laughs> no. But I think sometimes people think morning people are better as a morning person. You know, I can't disagree. No, I'm just kidding. So I thought of a different way to ask this question versus like identifying if you're a morning person or a night person. Um, the question is, when do you feel most productive? One of the things that makes me feel like I must be a morning person is that I wake up ready to seize the day. Like Ron wakes up, I'm gonna throw him under the bus cause he's not here. <laughs> but Ron wakes up and like speaks in grunts for the first like hour or two. Um, he's not someone you wanna like have a bathroom conversation with in the morning. <laughs> Where I wake up like it's a good morning. I'm ready to go in the very beginning. So when do you feel the most productive? In the night, in the middle of the afternoon? in the evening, like when do you come alive and get the most done? So post that in the comments for me and then that will help us solve the great debate of morning or night. I'm trying to see comments. Let's see, good morning everybody. Oh, you guys are all getting up early, getting on live and it's okay. If you're not on live and you catch it later, you can still participate. <laughs> Answer that question, when do you feel the most productive? So today, um, day 11, our see if I have my little prayer guide today. I do. If you're following along in the prayer guide, we have this um, reading plan in the very front. If you did not get a prayer guide and you're wondering what I'm talking about, um, we have those available Sunday mornings. You can also text, I think it's uh, 2023 to our text number and, and we can send you a digital copy of that as well so that you can stay on track with us. And don't worry, if you have fallen behind or you've missed a day or two, just pick up and keep going. So, okay, so today we're talking about the Lord, our victory. And um, I'm gonna try to, to give us like a, an overview because as I was preparing for this, I had like pages of notes. <laughs> um, but I wanna ask this question, what battles are you facing right now? What battles are you facing? I think it's safe to say that all of us are facing some kind of battle, some bigger than others, but we're all facing different kinds of battles. Um, we live in a war zone. This earth is not our home. We live in a war zone. So Jesus says in this world, you're gonna have trouble. There's gonna be these battles, but take heart because he's overcome the world. So what battles are you facing? Maybe it's a battle for, um, a job, like you are really unhappy at your job, you need a new job, there's someone at work that gives you a really hard time, you're in this battle every day when you go to work. Uh, maybe it's a financial battle, you're in debt up to your eyeballs and you don't see a way out and you're battling to make it day to day. Maybe it's a relationship battle, you have an, a strained relationship with a child or with a parent or a sibling um, and you're in this battle, maybe parents of teenagers, you're in a relationship battle with your teen or parents of three majors, right? Three-year-olds. Yep, that can be a battle too, a battle of the will. No, maybe you're in a mental health battle. I know I, that's a battle I faced um, for several years and had to fight. Maybe it's a lifelong battle you continue to face. Maybe it's a physical health battle. There's tons of different battles. So think about, as we're talking today, um, what battles that you are facing. You, uh, when you think about a battle, uh, or when we talk about how the Lord is our victory, that implies a battle, doesn't it? You can't have a victory without a battle. You'd be like, I won! What'd you win? I don't know. <laughs> you can't have a true victory unless there's been a battle, right? Which is hard. But battles aren't new. Um, They've been around forever. 
started in the Garden of Eden, if you think way back to Eve, she was battling this good versus evil with the enemy, right? Battles have been around for a long time. Um, before I get to today's scripture, I want to bring up a story that many of you have probably heard. If you haven't, it's from Exodus 17, and I'm going to try to give us the, the quick, speedy version, but um, it's Exodus 17, and the Israelites found themselves in battle with the Amalekites. And if you remember the story, Moses was standing with his arms up, and as long as his arms were up, they were winning. God gave him instructions to do this. So as long as he was holding his arms up, they won. And when his arms went down, the Israelites started losing. Arms up, win. Arms down, lose. I feel like that says something. Arms up and surrender and worship. Winning. Arms down, losing. But Moses got so tired. Um, he had Aaron and her holding up his arms so that the Israelites could continue this battle and win. And it was a long tough battle but in the end the Israelites won and Moses builds this altar thanking God for this victory and says Jehovah Nisi which means the Lord is my banner is the literal translation some people say that like the Lord is my victory it's a uh, he built this place to remind everyone where their victory came from and it came from the Lord it wasn't fought in their own strength it was fought because the Lord fought for them the Lord was their victory. So that brings us to today. And back to this question as we're reading, um, what battles are you facing? What battles are you facing? And hey, as we're talking, if you've got a prayer request, if you're in a battle right now, you can go ahead and post that. I'll be praying and checking the comments throughout the day, being praying over that. We also have members of our prayer team that do the same. Um, so, oh, Eric's heading into Jehovah Yahweh. Java. God awaken me. That's hilarious, Eric. Okay, so think about those battles that you're facing as we read today's scripture, which is Deuteronomy verses, uh, chapter 20, verse 4. But I want to read a couple more verses because that's just how I am. So we're going to read verse 1 first. It says, when you go out to war against your enemies, hello every day. When you go out to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army larger than your own, you shall not be afraid of them. When you go into a battle or whatever battle you're facing today, um, that can look really big. The enemy can look big, right? Um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of those things that look bigger than you. So when you face these armies that are larger than you, you shall not be afraid of them. For why can we not be afraid? Because the Lord, your God, is with you, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. So the Israelites are being reminded of the things God's done. I feel like sometimes when I'm in a vic er, in a battle and I don't see victory, it helps me to go back and remember those faith victories that I have had in the past. And it like pumps me up a little bit to remember who's fighting this battle. And then if you keep going down, um, verse 3 says, Hear, O Israel, today you are drawing near for battle against your enemies. Let not your heart faint. Do not fear or panic. Or be in dread of them these battles are coming you're gonna face some enemies but don't fear don't panic don't be in dread why here's the good one this is today's reading verse 4 for the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory that is Jehovah Nisi the Lord is our banner the Lord is our victory I love that the Lord goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory god isn't just behind you cheering you on he's not just hoping you do your best no he's with you he is in the battle he is fighting for you against your enemies and the point of that is to give you victory i love that so god fights for you and he gives you the victory now sometimes not sometimes, all the time, <laughs> There's we have a part in it. For Moses, back in that story of Exodus that I mentioned, his part was holding his arms up, right? He had to keep those arms up. And God brought people around him even for him to be able to do his part. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes life can feel really hard. And I think about some of the parenting battles I faced. I have five kids, so that's a big part of my life right now. <laughs> um, and I think about, the things that have just felt 
Oh my gosh, so overwhelming. Talk about armies bigger than mine. Five kids is more than one mom, you know? Armies bigger than mine. But I think about the people that God has put around me to support me, just like Aaron and her were supporting Moses. Um, Moses did his part. I got to do my part. I'm the mom. I'm raising these kids. But God has given me people around me to support me, people like you. I remember countless conversations with Mindy, still have them, about parenting. I have an atypical child, and uh, that can bring some, some difficulties. Um, and so God gives us each other. So one thing today to think about as we're thinking of this, the Lord is our victory. We know if we fight, we will win. Sometimes um, we feel like we're losing the battle. Can anybody say, yes, I felt like I've lost a battle. So I'm reading this, God's my victory, but right now I'm in the middle of a battle that I feel like I'm losing. My encouragement to you would be this, that the battle is not over. We're guaranteed victory in the Lord. So if you feel like you're losing, keep fighting. The battle is not over. You know, Moses, as he raised, put his hands down, there were times during that battle where it felt like, or the Israelites were losing, but um, the battle wasn't over yet. You know, in this world, we're going to face trouble. We're going to have hard times, but the battle's not over. When my grandma was fighting, I got to see, I'm probably going really long. I don't know. But when my, bat when my grandma was battling cancer, um, she was diagnosed the summer going into my freshman year of high school. She battled all the way through my high school years, and she actually passed away in August right after I graduated. So literally my entire high school was my grandma um, battling cancer and chemo treatments and trips to the hospital and all different things. And uh, she wanted to live so bad. She had 13 grandkids, and she knew God wasn't done with her yet, and she was pretty young. Um, she was in her 60s, so pretty young. And we all were believing God that she was going to be healed. I mean, that was our prayer. She's healed. She's healed. She's healed. And I remember when she passed away, wrestling with the fact that she died. Like, Lord, this feels like a, a big loss. And it was to us on this earth. I'm not, I'm not downplaying the fact that it was a loss and there was a lot of grief and it was a very hard time for our family. She was a pillar of, in our family, but, um, Something that the Lord ministered to me in that time of loss, you know, here we're reading the Lord's our victory, but my grandma still died. And, and that doesn't make sense to me. But God reminded me that our victory isn't just earthly. Yes, he'll give us victories here on the earth, but in the end, we know we win. <laughs> Jesus died on the cross. He secured eternity for you and for me when we put our trust and our hope in him. And so my grandma did have the victory and she is healed. She's walking the streets of heaven, made completely whole, and someday I get to spend eternity with her. And so while I miss her on this earth, she still got the victory, and uh, the battle's not over. <laughs> the battle's not over. Um, if you don't see the victory, keep fighting, because the victory's coming. I hope that encourages you. I feel like it's hard to say... Um, hard to say quick in this time, but... Um, Anyway, thank you guys for listening and listening to me ramble on. Be sure you put those prayer requests in there. And now we're going to do what we're supposed to do on this live stream and we're going to pray. So um, today we're going to be praying over these battles that you're facing and remembering that the Lord is our victory. Let's pray. Father, I come to you in Jesus' name and I thank you for every person on this stream watching now live or watching later or watching in years to come. God, I thank you that they're here because they love you. And uh, Lord, you know we're all in, in battles. We all have battles that we're facing. Some of us are fighting battles for loved ones. Some of us are, are fighting battles ourselves. Lord, this world is hard, and you knew that. That's why you sent Jesus for us, and we're so thankful for that. God, help us to remember in the middle of these battles that you are our victory, that you fight for us, that we don't have to tire ourselves out figuring out a way to win. All we have to do is seek you and listen to you and do it your way. And we will have the victory. God, I thank you that you are Jehovah Nisi, that you are our banner. You are our victory. And help us to remember that today. And in all the days coming, when we start to feel discouraged and we don't see a way out and we, we feel like we've been beaten and we feel like we're bruised and we feel like we're losing, help us to remember that you're the victory. And we're not fighting in our own strength. We're fighting with you, that you are fighting for us. And God, I thank you that you love us 
I thank you that you've given us each other so that we're not alone in this battle of life. We have the Lord, we have you, we have Jesus, we have each other. God, we love you and we praise you. Help us to seek you today, to remember you today. And God, forgive us for the times that we haven't sought you. Forgive us for the times where we've tried to fight battles in our own strength. Um, we're sorry. We want it your way, Lord. That's why we're here. We want to do things your way. We love you, God. Pray for everybody to have an awesome day today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Tomorrow we have day 12 with, oh shoot, I even looked to see who it was this time. And I forget. With somebody who's going to talk about the Lord being our peace. So you guys go out there. Have an awesome, awesome day. We'll see ya.